And hello everyone, I'm Darren Jaime, and today is Wednesday, December 5th. Of course, you're watching Open, a live program, bringing the Bronx and New York City straight to you. We also want to welcome our viewers on Manhattan Neighborhood Network, as Open is now being broadcast live simultaneously on MNN's channel. Now, you can stay connected to us, and you can do that by Twitter, at BronxNet TV, and Facebook, at Open BronxNet Television. Well, a lot has certainly been going on throughout the past week, and we take you through it right now with some Bronx updates. Well, funeral services are being held for George H.W. Bush, the 41st president of the United States, whose long life in public sphere was defined by service to his country. He was 94. His wife of 73 years, Barbara Bush, died in April, and Mr. Bush was hospitalized the day after the funeral to be treated for an infection in his bloodstream. Now, the president suffered from a number of health issues in his later years, including vascular Parkinsonism. Now, the New England native also leaves behind five living children, George W., Jeb, Neil, Marvin, and Dorothy, 17 grandchildren, and eight great-grandchildren. Well, New York City has become the first in the U.S. to set a minimum wage for app-based car services. The city's Taxi and Limousine Commission voted Tuesday to establish a permanent and per-mile payment formula for Uber and Lyft drivers. Now, the new measure could allow drivers to earn approximately $17 an hour. And regulators say it will raise the driver's annual earnings by about $10,000 a year. The city's minimum wage is set to increase to $15 an hour at the end of this year the equivalent wage for drivers who are considered independent contractors and to have to cover their own expenses is $17.22. In other news, police said that this month was the safest, I mean, in November and the modern NYPD history. It ended last week with a 5% overall decrease in crime compared with November of 2017. Police said the drop was spurred by a 15.8% drop in burglaries and an 11.8% plunge in robberies. Murders dropped to last month, 15 from 20 a year earlier. The NYPD also reported the first November of the same span with less than 1,000 reported burglaries. So good news for here, the borough of the Bronx. That's all for our Bronx updates. We want you to stay with us because we do have more shows. So stay with us. We're coming right back right after this.